Alright, so clear chat command. Um, if you already know how to set up a command, um, I have a timestamp on screen for you so you can skip to that and avoid me showing how to set up a command. Um, but if you don't, um, we'll start now. So, similar to your main class where you type extends Java plugin, you're going to want to type implement command with a capital C and executor with a capital E. And then import that, control shift O if you're on Eclipse. Um, on any other ID, I'm not sure. And uh, what you're going to want to do is hover over the class name. Again, this is only if you're in Eclipse. Um, other IDs, I'm not sure. And add unimplemented methods. That'll just um, add the command method for you without you having to do anything. Quickly, before I continue with that, what you're going to want to do is get an instance of your main class. Um, so the way I do this, even though it's not the only way, but the way I do it lately is um, I first create a private variable, um, YouTube being my main class, and then YT being just what I call it. And then you're going to do public, and then the name of the class that it's in. So for me, clear chat. And then in brackets, you're going to want to um, add your main class as a parameter. So YouTube YT in my case, um, basically just the exact same as what you put there. Then you're going to put this dot, and then your variable here equals and then your variable here and then another thing you want to do is your main class again dot get command and then for me it's clear chat dot set executor this now you're going to want to go over to your main class and go new your class name and then brackets this and just quickly pop into your plugin at yml folder uh, file rather and you're going to want to create this command section. I've already got it created, um, but if you don't, you just need to put commands and then two spaces along, put in clear chat, which will be the same thing that you put in the get command here. And then I'm going to add aliases. I'm going to do CC as an alias, and then description. And I'm just going to put clear the chat. Now let's get into this. So. Um, you're going to want to change all of the uh, parameters for this method. So command sender can become sender, command can become cmd, string can become string. I'm not really sure what this does, to be honest with you. And then the this string can become args. Now, if this method returns false, it will give you a message that you can set in the plugin.yml file. However, I'm not particularly sure what it is. I've never used it and it doesn't really matter I mean I don't set it so I can return true or false it really doesn't make a difference the first thing you're gonna to want to do is check if they have permission to use the command because obviously you don't want all of your players having access to clear chat so the first thing you're gonna to want to do is if sender instance of console with a capital C command with a capital C sender with a capital S then import console command sender this basically just checks if it's the console and you're going to want to do OR by doing the two horizontal lines which is shift and the button just to the right of it um, to the left of Z that's a UK layout I don't know what it is on other layouts then you're going to, want to do um, sender.has permission clear chat dot use and I'm going to put just youtube dot clear chat dot use Obviously the permission doesn't really matter, just make sure it doesn't overlap another permission that all of your players will have. And then you're going to want to go else, and then just sender.send message, sorry but you don't have permission to do that. Doesn't really matter what this is, just any no permission message. Now, after this, um, after the if statement to check if they have the permission to do the command, you're going to want to do for player p colon bucket get online players. So the way I'm going to do it is um, star. Well, I'm going to have a permission to um, bypass the clear chat. So you'll be told that the chat was cleared, but it will not clear. So. I'm going to do if p.has permission 
and then I'm going to put YouTube dot clear chat dot bypass. Now again, the permission doesn't really matter. You, sh you know, you could even do the same permission as this if you wanted. It doesn't particularly matter. Um, so I'm going to put an else statement on that now. In this if statement, I'm going to just put p dot send message. The chat was cleared by plus sender dot get name. However, you're bypassing this. Then in the else, we're going to do for int x equals zero semicolon x is less than now here you've got a bit of a choice um, by default you'll only need to do 100 however people can use mods such as 5zig to increase the length of the chat up to a thousand I believe a thousand is the highest you can get so if you want to play it safe you can make it a thousand however I'm going to leave it at 100 and another semicolon x plus plus so that basically just loops a hundred times and all we're going to do is p.send message and then quote with the space in it. So that will just send them basically an empty message. And then I'm going to do another message here p.send message. The chat was cleared by sender.getName. So we first check if they have permission to use the command. We then loop through all players, and in that loop, we check if they have a bypass permission. If they do not, we loop a hundred times, sending them a blank message, and then tell them that the chat was cleared by the person who sent the command. If they do have the permission, we just tell them that it was cleared, and then we tell them they're bypassing it. Right, so we'll just type slash cc. And I'm not up at the moment, so as you can see, you don't have permission to do that. Now I'm just going to opt myself, um, and you can see now if I do it, the chat was cleared by asking, however you are bypassing this. And then if I just clear through the console, you can see the chat was cleared by console, however you are bypassing this. And then if I de-opt myself and clear it through the console again, you can see that it clears the chat and the chat was cleared by console. So that's how you create a clear chat commander. It's pretty basic really, pretty quick as well. But that's how you do it. So if this was helpful, please leave a like and I'll catch you in the next video.